So welcome back and we're looking at the next ship in the lineup. This time it's with Croniton and uh, what's the name of your ship? Uh, Omega... Mm. Omega Z7. Omega Z7. Okay, so I'm just taking a look at your engines. The engines look pretty awesome. Yeah, that was my, uh, my favorite part of it, I think. Those engines are actually really nice. You've used the beacons and the different angles. It were really good effect there. Got the lava and the crystal in there. That's, that's a new thing. I've not seen engines done like this before. And to be honest, I want engines like that. That's great. Hmm. Yeah, that's really good. It actually does give a good effect because of the way you've got that uh, beacon there as well. <clears throat> I don't think it would work without it, to be honest really nice. So yeah, I noticed it looked kind of like a heat. Yeah. And then moving back, we've got a bunch of turrets. Basic, but I bet they do the job. Quite small, when I say basic. But you don't want them to be too fat, do you? They kind of stick up if you use the whole docking area. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it looks like we've got quite a bit on the inside here. So, uh, where am I coming in? I'm coming in up here. So I will stop right about there right then lead the way all right well uh, this is the bridge not much in here right now cool just uh, open this door get down to the uh, cargo bay well oh, nice. bay. we've got some uh, shuttle fighter sort of things mm-hmm and uh, both of these doors are linked. Oh, uh, this is the uh, core room. It's one of my favorite things I did. Oh yeah, that is quite nice, yeah. Makes it almost look like you've got a wedged crystal there. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, actually, you see all this... Um, uh, blue crystal it actually runs through the entire ship and uh leads to each one of the turrets and all of the engines like um, uh, it's power. supposed to be like fuel yeah, uh, yeah fuel yeah yeah like a fuel line yeah, that's cool and uh well both of these sides are pretty much the same yep storage and lights mm -hmm. oh i just turn the light off with on you know storage it has something in it oh uh, i see good idea uh these uh hatches on the floor and ceiling lead to the turret so I can adjust the um, AI while I'm in the ship. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, and this is the, um, like, greenhouse, the aeroponics bay, something like that. Yep, yep. I haven't put any plants in it yet. Yeah, that's cool. And this is the engine room. I haven't really finished this yet. I want to put more computers in it and maybe do something else with it. The last part is just the um, uh, glass walkway that really leads around the ship. I wanted to kind of get a view of the outside of it. Yeah. It's and nice. it also leads to the other... You can do your damage reports. <laughs> and it also leads to the other, the other two turrets. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Otherwise, how would you get there? Nice. And that's pretty much it. It's just uh, my first build, so it was pretty simple. No, it's really good. You've got a good use of colors and stuff in here. It's nice. I like your docking bay as well, where you've lit it up blue underneath, like, you know. It's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I might have overused um, the crystal a little bit too much. <laughs> no, it looks, it's, it's fine. Fine. Like I say. Really oh, and nice on the ship. top, this is uh, supposed to be some kind of heat vents. Oh yeah, like cooling fins. So what was the name of the ship again? Uh, Omega Z Z7. Nice. Omega Z7 by Chronoton. Beautiful ship. Never seen anybody making the exterior walkways yet, so that's the first. 
Um, <clears throat> and that's a really unique engine design you've got going on there. So can't wait to see your next ship. Uh, thanks for waiting so long in the lineup. And, uh, oh, that was no problem. And thanks for watching. Uh, so I'll see you next time.